What's up everyone? Hope everybody's doing well. So as you saw, just got done unloading a full load of totes. Uh, I got to rip some of them apart for firewood cages and uh, just moving those around. I got a bunch of bladders over here right now that I got to deal with, but uh, getting ready to leave here in a little bit. So I want the house changed some clothes. But while I was moving those totes around, I was thinking about something. Um, some comments that I got. One of my very first videos, uh, I believe it was titled, Which Compact Tractor Brand is Best? It's got like 10,000 views on it. Um, some guys, I didn't mention in that tractor, or in that video, which tractor we had decided on. I just kind of gave an overview, pros and cons of all of them, um, because that's what I found in my 12 months of research, is there's a lot of pros and cons to any of these brands. And you just got to kind of choose uh, the one that has the most pros with the least amount of cons, in my opinion. But my wife and I did purchase a 2020 Kubota L3901, brand new. And uh, I did a video after that initial one saying that we bought the Kubota. And some guys were on there calling me a sellout and stuff like that. First off, I don't think you can be a sellout. Um, when I did my own independent research, um, I bought it with my own money. And I'm not, I'm not a big channel. I'm not getting free tractors or even discounts from Kubota on this stuff. So everything you see, I've paid with with my own money. Um, so this video is going to be why we chose Kubota over the other ones. I'm going to try and keep it real short, which never happens because my videos always seem to be longer one, than what they are. But first things first, we just hit over 400 subscribers. Thank you, everyone, very much. Uh, it means a lot. We started this channel just to keep family kind of in the loop of the farm we bought right before COVID hit. Um, and so it was just kind of meant for family. And then I started getting likes and comments and uh, comments from people, you know, around the world saying they enjoyed our videos. And I was like, well, I enjoy making them. So as long as people watch them, I'll uh, keep doing them. And uh, every morning before breakfast, my daughter will ask how many subscribers we have. And today I told her 400 and she was ecstatic. And now she says, we need a silver play button. I was like, nah, I don't, I think that's like half a million followers. That's probably never going to happen, kiddo. But uh, if you guys don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's nothing else that makes a, a little girl happy, and uh, that's all she wants to know. It's the first thing she asks me every morning is, how many subscribers do we have? So, um, But, uh, yeah, it makes her happy. So, real quick, just um, there's a million reasons I found why I bought a tractor or I didn't buy a certain brand. Um, but, you know, do your own research. And I think part of it depends where you are in the country. Around here, I don't have a lot of brands um, represented as they do, say, in the South. Or I know in Texas, Mahindra is really big. But real quick, uh, my wife and I knew we were going to be looking for some property. We ended up purchasing 20 acres. Um, all but three of it is woods. I've since cleared another two and a half, working on three. All this behind me is getting cleared out. i got to drop all those sycamores. And uh, hopefully it's a hundred by fifty pole barn going there. But um, I knew we were going to be buying a property, so I started researching tractors a year beforehand. And uh, some of the brands I looked at off the top of my head: Kubota, obviously, um, John Deere, LS, Coyote, Branson, Massey Ferguson, TYM, Rule King, and I know I'm missing some. Um, and actually, Kubota wasn't the first one that I started researching. I would literally pick one tractor company. I'd find one tractor in their line that I thought would fit our needs. And I would religiously research that tractor for a month. I would keep notes. And then if I talked to someone and they said, hey, check out Massey, I'd check out Massey. And I'd do the same thing. I wanted it to be, uh, I didn't want to buy something just because someone else had it. Uh, I wanted to do my own independent research. And in the end, this is, this is the tractor that fit our needs the best. So a couple of the big, big uh, bullet points on why we chose Kubota. In my part of the country, dealer network. Um, if I bust something, which I have, I've broken an HST filter, ripped it clean off the tractor, broke the housing. Um, I there's there's three tractor dealers, Kubota dealers, within an hour of me. Two of them are within 40 minutes, um, and then I have another one that's about 25 minutes away. So even if I didn't buy the tractor from them, if I need something last minute, I can get it. That was a downfall for some of the other tractor brands is the fact that they might have one dealer um, and is an hour and a half away from me. I use this tractor almost every day. Maybe one day a week, I'm not on this tractor getting something done around here. And I can't have a part, 
parts availability issue where I can't get something for three, four weeks. And yes, it's happened. Um, I got on every Facebook owner's group of tractors I could find. I read, I comment, you know, even if it's not the tractor company you own or the brand, you can learn a lot from these other guys. You know, we're all using our tractors in a similar way. Um, there's so many aftermarket parts out there or the mods. Um, so just do that. But uh, number one of my bullet point was, or uh, number one thing was the dealer support and the dealer network. Number two to me, um, I guess you can maybe lump that in with dealer support, but was service, parts availability, and warranty. Um, I've heard some of these other brands are having horror stories, and don't get me wrong, Kubota can have its own problems. Um, I don't think any tractor out there is perfect. If it was, I definitely would have bought that one. Um, but I talked to these guys in the shops. I talked to the mechanics. I talked to the parts guys, if their dealer even had one of those. And um, hey, do you keep a good supply of parts? How fast can you get them? Who's the one fixing my tractor? And one of the dealers I spoke to, I said, what's your parts inventory? He goes, uh, we're a lawnmower shop. We just carry this brand of tractors. Uh, if we have an issue, we'll get, it, we'll get a part ordered in then. I said, you don't stock anything? No. Maybe a couple of oil filters. All right, all right. I said, who fixed your tractor? Can I talk to the guy here that works on tractors? Yeah, but we don't have anybody here that works on tractors. I said, you're a dealer and you don't have anybody that works on tractors? Well, you bring it back here and then we call a guy down at the end of the road. That's a quote. That's what they told me. We'll call a guy at the end of the road. He comes and picks it up on his truck and trailer and he takes it back to his place and works on it. I said, oh, so it's like a business? No, it's just a guy in his garage. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to be buying your tractor. Thank you. Um, so I want to know that the service is good. These guys go to school. I want to know that I can, that warranty issues are going to be covered. I did have one warranty issue on this tractor already, five months, almost 100 hours. Um, the parts I needed for ripping off the HST filter and the housing bracket, um, I got all that stuff next day. Um, number three for me was talking to people who own these tractors, customer satisfaction. And like I said at the beginning of the video, around me, Kubota is the big dealer. Um, we have a lot of New Holland around here, which I forgot to mention earlier, um, you know, John Deere, stuff like that. So if I would be driving down the road with my wife and I would see some guy out in his yard working a tractor that was what I thought in the size range I wanted, I would stop, introduce myself and talk to him. And I found that of all the people I just randomly stopped, had no idea who they were, people always want to talk about their tractors. They will tell you what they like, what they dislike. Um, even if it was an older tractor, hey, did you have any issues with your dealer? Everything. And uh, so I found a lot of leads on that route because I'd talk to someone and they'd say, hey, my buddy has this. He'd love to talk to you about his tractor. He loves it. And then you go talk to that guy and he's like, well, my buddy owns this brand. You should go talk to him too and get a good opinion. So that's how I did a majority of my research. Um, that combined with, you know, being on these online forums. A lot of times people don't say what they online, they don't say what they do like, they say what they don't like. So you can get a little jaded on that route. Um, but uh, I talked to a lot of people that owned uh, New Hollands, Kubotas. Uh, the RKs are pretty new, but I met quite a few people around here that have the RKs. And one guy that I kind of do business with now, excuse me, he has, uh, he has two RKs. He has a, a cab model and he has a smaller open station model. He likes them. His only issue with them is the parts availability. He said he thought he lost a gas cap and he was worried because he knew it would take him three weeks to get a gas cap in. So those are all things you have to take into account. So make your own opinions. Um, talk to as many people as you can and take what you hear on the internet as a grain of salt. My thing is first person is always best. Um, and, you know, since I bought this tractor, I've literally had people stop and ask me about my tractor. And now the one guy that... Uh, we met down at the end of the road the other day. I called my dealer asking about something. He said, hey, this guy's in here. He knows you. And I was like, I don't know who that guy is. And then they told me. And I was like, oh, yeah, he's my new neighbor. I met him once. And just because of me talking about my satisfaction with my Kubota, he was up there buying one that day. Um, so what else was there? Um, a big one for me was reputation. Um, there's a lot of tractor companies out there. Some of them come and go. I know the Cabela's kind of want to the to the side they're made by you know another company who now makes tractors for another company some of these korean companies are kind of buying each other out at times um so i just went with kind of reputation of a tractor um what do i know and what have i heard over the years 
I'm not new to tractors, but all my tractors are, I think my newest tractor is like a 1958. Um, but it gets the job done, but uh, we needed something smaller, something more powerful, um, something with a, I have tractors with a loader, I have tractors without a loader. Um, I wanted something that was kind of all in one package, four by four HST for maneuvering around these woods. Um, I wanted, let's see, four by four HST, I wanted a loader. Um, I wanted a good PTO horsepower. Um, I wanted so I could take the loader off quick if I wanted to. So there's just a lot of reasons why I went with the Kubota over the other brands. Would I have been happy if I bought some of these other brands? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll be honest with you. When I was looking at tractors, Kubota wasn't the one that uh, I actually wanted. That was at the top of my list for the longest time. It wasn't till the end of my research that Kubota started to shine through. Um, and the reason, let me tell you this, is people think I'm crazy, is the price, which is another bullet point for me. Um, I called one, I called my local dealer um, when I was in my Kubota phase of research. They gave me a price. I Why should I inspect out a tractor on them? I told them exactly what features I wanted, everything, what model, um, third function, you know, blah, 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 what tires I wanted, R4. They gave me a price, and I was like, whoa, no way. Like, they were just seemed super high and then i was talking to a dealer that's states away from me who sells two other brands of tractors and he goes hey did you call one kubota dealer or did you call everyone within 100 miles and i said i just called one dealer he said call every dealer within 100 miles of you he said i know in your area you'll be happy with kubota because you're going to get that dealer support you're going to get that service support um which some of these other tractor brands just don't have right now um, and they will, they're growing, but uh, I didn't want to sit around and wait on, you know, a dealer network to kind of form itself and have just random dealers here and there. <clears throat> so I called every dealer within 100 miles of me. Uh, happens, just so happens that the nearest dealer, besides the close one, so the, I should say the second closest dealer, um, I specced out what I wanted. They called me back with a quote, and it was substantially less than my first Kubota dealer quoted me. And those dealers are only 40 miles apart. And I'm talking thousands of dollars difference for the same tractor. They even threw in some things. Um, they threw in the uh, deluxe three-point adjustment, the sway arms. They threw in some oils. They threw in, you know, obviously hats. Um, they made me a hell of a deal on a set of pallet forts. So things that uh, the first dealer really wasn't willing to do, the second dealer really shone through. And um, to be honest, I really wanted the RK37 or the TYM equivalent of that um the two tym dealers close to me actually three i called two in ohio one was up in michigan um i just you know they were honest they said yeah parts are kind of an issue right now um we don't know what turnaround is if you do have an issue and a lot of these places were again kind of um one man shows the guy that's the salesman's also the guy that works on the tractors and everything <clears throat> so that just kind of scared me but people say i'm full of shit Pardon my language. I got this Kubota for under 2,000 price difference between this and an RK37 open station. And people think I'm crazy. Yeah, it's on paper, man. That's this dealer, just they sell so many of them around me. And I'd never heard of this dealer, and I've lived within an hour of them my whole life. Uh, it wasn't until I got on a website that I found them. They don't really advertise. I don't know how they sell so many tractors, but uh, they knock the socks off of another Kubota dealer that's 40 miles away. So the price uh, was a big thing for me. And also that fell into my research was resale. The reason we ended up buying a new tractor is because we weren't planning on buying a new tractor. Wife and I thought, oh, well, we're buying a house. we got a lot of expenses right now. Let's go find a nice used one. I was finding 3901s. You know, it didn't have third function, which that's almost $1,000. That had between, I think the two I found that stick out the most. One had 300 hours, one had like 670 hours. They uh, were only $25 to $3,000 less than buying a brand new tractor with a full warranty at 0% financing. Uh, you throw the extras I got, the pallet forks, everything in here, it was literally cheaper for me to buy a new tractor. Um, so you have to look into that. And also in the pricing is Kubota had 0% finance. We had some money left over when we sold our old house. I was gonna put half the money down on this tractor. And I mean, I'm just throwing this out there. I like to be super open. Um, and I was just gonna drop, put half the money on the tractor, finance the rest. Then when they said they have 0% financing, I thought, well, 
we can put that money away. Uh, we can make interest on that money, and then I can just go buy all the implements I want with cash, which we did, and you're still ahead. Some of these other dealers, though, you got to watch it. Um, some of them seem like, oh, that price is great, but once you factor in, um, some of them were 5.25 to over 6% interest. That makes a big difference right there in the total overall thing. And that's what I look at is how much is this going to cost me overall. I don't look at monthly payments. Um, I think a lot of people do. They know, hey, I can afford this month to month or this on a month to month basis. Let's go for it. Um, if you stretch it out and you look at this, what is this going to cost me total? Then uh, I think it makes a big difference. And yeah, I went to business school, so I know even at zero percent financing, they're making their money. I get it, but uh, it's still it's still a lot cheaper overall than some of these other tractors um, that are priced less initially. So the resale, you bring into all those um, accounts, and uh, the last thing is just the aftermarket parts uh, availability on these Kubotas. Everybody out there is making aftermarket parts for these. Um, I have a bucket level indicator. Never used one in my life. I actually bought it because of the pallet forks because I moved so many of these totes around. It's easier to see. Um, and that was made for me by a good buddy. He owns Zooks Welding, Robert Zucker. And after I ripped my HST filter off, I was talking to him. I actually went over. I know Robert personally. We've been friends for years. I went over and helped him put a food plot in um, earlier in the summer. And he has an, a brand new L2501. We bought our tractors literally weeks apart. And uh, he's like, you know, I'm going to make them HST filter guards. So he's got a side business going now. He's a professional welder. Now he's got his own business going. And uh, I actually have a set in there that I paid for, and I'm hoping to put those on later today. Um, and we'll get into that. So speaking of that, if you guys have uh, L2501, 3301, 3901, he's also making some parts for the BX tractors, I believe. Maybe even the Bs. He's making loader indicators for quite a few of these tractors. Watch my next video because I talked to Robert. And we're going to have a discount code from my channel that will save you guys some money if you're willing to buy some of his products. If out there, the world is uh, still crazy. And uh, make sure that you and your loved ones are safe and watch out for each other. So it's Robert from Pheasant Lane Farm. Thanks for watching. And as always, everybody take care.